Good day, mates. How you going? Elf Lion Simba here, and welcome to another episode of Wonders from Down Under. It's time to talk about Rose once again, and this one is in between the Wallabies and the larger kangaroos, and I'm talking about the Antilopine Kangaroo, also known as the Antilopine Wallaroo. So, let's hop to it. You the intro. The antilopine kangaroo, also known as the antilopine wallaroo, lives across northern Australia in monsoonal tropical woodlands and savanna woodlands. A fully grown antilopine wallaroo weighs 20 to 37 kilograms, stands 0.8 to a meter and a half tall, and head and body length is up to 1.2 meters for males with a tail of 900 millimeters and no longer than 840 millimeters for females whose tails are up to 700 millimeters. Antilopine kangaroos are very social, although the older males are often solitary. Mobs of adults of both genders are often seen together but once joeys reach their mother's pouches, the mob separates with the males forming small bachelor groups and the females and joeys forming large groups. Antilopine kangaroos move both individually and in groups to and from grazing areas and return again to the same camp. During the day, they stay in shady wooded areas to keep out of the hot sun. They graze at dusk in grasslands and then at dawn return to said wooded areas. In the cooler wet season, they sometimes graze during the day. As is the case with all kangaroos, antilopine roos are mainly grazers. They seek out areas with short grass, such as low tussock grass, or places where tall grass has been reduced to shoots by burning. The antilopine kangaroo's mating season starts at around December, at the start of the rainy season. Females have only one joey at a time, which is born after a gestation period of about 35 days. Once born, the newborn joey climbs up to its mother's pouch. After about 20 weeks, it begins to emerge from its pouch, and at about six months old, comes out completely from the pouch for the first time. At around 37 weeks of age, the joey is not allowed back into the pouch. The joey is gradually weaned from its mother, feeding less and less of her until it is about 15 months old. The males are mature at two years old, while females reach maturity at 16 months old, developing their pouch after the age of 20 months old. Antilopine roos can live to be 16 years old. Although the antilopine wallaroo is listed as least concern on the IUCN red list, its population is decreasing. It's threatened by wildfires, livestock grazing, and competition with feral goats. And it's unknown how many antilopine kangaroos are left in the wild. Well, that was it. 
my Wonders from Down Under episode on the antelopine kangaroo. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Alpha Lion Simba, out.